Hey everyone, um, welcome to um, I think what's going to be a really great lecture. Um, it's a real pleasure and an honor to uh, introduce Yu Pei. It's, um, um, not often we get to see architects with um, such a stunning array of um, uh, projects that explore um, a wide range of conditions, uh, cities, scales, um, and programs. Um, Xu Pei's office is based in Beijing. And he's the uh, dean of the School of Architecture at the uh, Central Academy of Fine Art in in Beijing. He studied at Tsinghua in Beijing, and also in the late 90s, he took a master's uh, at uh, UC Berkeley, uh, where he studied architecture and urban planning. So he's got a, a, a taste of uh, what California uh, is about. Um, and I think that at, at, at this point, he's, he's seen as one of the most important architects and one of the most watched architects in, in China. And he will obviously uh, expound a lot on his ideas and his work. Um, leading up to the 2008 Beijing Olympics, um, China, I think by most architect standard, was seen as, from the West as the greatest land of opportunity in the world. Um, I think up to 2008, you and every friend of yours who was an architect who wasn't Chinese had been to China at least once, maybe more, to explore possible projects. Um, some were straightforward and clear, some were mysterious in their origins, but still it was an enormous land of possibility and opportunity. It seemed like no project was less than 200,000 meters, something that we could not in... <laughs> Uh, the U.S. Uh, imagined. Some went up, you know, from there. That was the typical size project. Um, whole new cities were being planned. Large-scale projects had to be built instantly. Now, meanwhile, as you know, even though you're, as students here, maybe the third generation of, of uh, a wave of Chinese students, the first Chinese students were leaving China to study abroad, and certainly many in, in the U.S., so while there was a new exporting of um, people and ideas um, coming from the West to a country that realized it needed more architects uh, than it had and needed architects who could perhaps deliver, like at Beijing, uh, by Herzog de Meuron, for instance, a telegenic architecture. I'm thinking of the uh, bird's nest. Um, that's not a a bad thing to say because on the one hand, while we don't build buildings for TV shows or for people to take pictures of, it was undeniable that that project uh, brought to an apex a number of things, uh, technology and ideas. Uh, if you could think it, you could build it. And we would ask questions later when the dust settled about all of this, and certainly questions were. And two weeks after Beijing Olympics closed, uh, the Lehman Brothers uh, crash happened. So the land of opportunity suddenly uh, went away, yet Chinese architects continued to build, certainly with uh, different thoughts about what did it mean to build the spectacle? What did it mean to build the icon? What did it mean to bring ideas from outside the culture and um, have them represent uh, China? I think the point of this is that Zhu Pei's work and his, his panorama of projects, I think, have very much asked these questions, both right before that uh, time frame, the collapse in the Western economy, and still the idea that China was a, an opportunity. But over time, it shifted less for foreign architects and more for Chinese architects and more for the future of Chinese architects. So no longer is it a place where it's, it's a, a need to... Uh, make projects uh, new, now the questions are, what does it mean to be a Chinese architect building for Chinese culture and building for a Chinese identity, whereas before that was the curious dilemma for the foreign architect. So I think uh, the work of Zhu Pei asks those questions very profoundly, and um, as he will show, 
his work is uh, not about the exhibition of, of um, virtuosity, but about a study of what does it mean to be Chinese, but what does it mean also at the same time to retain the ambition of the new. So please uh, welcome Zhu Pei. <laughs> Thanks, um, and, uh, uh, Brett, to, you know, brought me to the USRA. Uh, also, thank you, uh, uh, to, to give such kind of uh, introduction. Uh, I'm very honored to have a chance to share my work, my experience, my thought with everyone. My topic tonight, Uh, is root rethink of a Chinese the contemporary. The, in 2016, I was invited to design the Imperial Q Museum in Jingdezhen, but a few years later, uh, still ongoing this project, but it's very close uh, to finish. So this is a, just a, this photo just took from a few weeks ago. The Jingdezhen is located in the southeast part of China, just 100 kilometers south of Yangtze River. Uh, Jingdezhen is known its porcelain capital in the world because he has been producing the pottery for more than 1,700 years. Um, during the Ming and the Qing dynasty, Jingdezhen Export a huge amount of porcelain to the to the Europe. Chai Ru Jun Ge Ding. It's the lower part of the image. It is is the most important Chinese porcelain kiln during the Song Dynasty. Uh, they represent the highest achievement in Chinese porcelain history. Um, all those kiln is located in the north part of China, but. Uh, during the Song Dynasty, because of the Mongolian invasion, most of the kiln was destroyed. A lot of craftsmen have to escape to, you know, move to the south. At the same time, the Jingdezhen start to, you know, take more, uh, you know, uh, the, the porcelain industry getting even more bloom because of the, a uh, lot of craftsmen, you know, from north to south. So top two image is is represent the Song Dynasty porcelain produced in Jingdezhen, greenish white porcelain. But uh, if you compare the, the this is a Ruzi is is most uh, symbolic of the Song Dynasty. Uh, if you compare those two porcelain, you can get a sense how you know unique of the Jingdezhen porcelain. The 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 they were light very thin like paper, but the color like jade. So they start to, you know, to set up their own character. During the Yuan Dynasty, the, the Gaoling clay was found in Jingdezhen. And then they brought, you know, kind of a revolutionary uh, in the porcelain industry. The white porcelain has been first time to produce um, in the human history. And uh, around the same time, the very special material, uh, called a kind of a blue clay is import from Iran. And then the, the, we call the white, a uh, blue and white porcelain became to the, the most, uh, you know, influence the porcelain and also what, you know, export to the Europe. Most of, uh, uh, the, the, the porcelain in outside of China is blue white. The Ming Dynasty. You know, uh, if we we find out uh, the the blue and the white porcelain somehow to mix uh, the the mid uh, uh, mid east uh, the culture with Chinese civilization, but Ming Dynasty start to shift back. Uh, this. Uh, example, 
uh, it's called the uh, chicken cup. Actually, it's a, a dozai chicken cup. You first time to saw the, the colorful porcelain to to show up. Uh, this cup is became to the so important uh, things. Uh, the the imperial queue is moved to the the Jingde. This cup is more like their highest achievement. Uh, just like maybe six or five years ago, the or, one of the original this chicken cup was uh, uh, the auction by the Susbi is like two hundred eighty million. Uh, the Hong Kong currency is you only feel to remain, but uh, this is a kind of a the you know like Jing De Zhen, the porcelain. Uh, looking at the landscape, urban landscape, the Jing De Zhen originally uh, growing very naturally. It's surrounding with the mountain along with the creek, large cube complex located in, inside. Uh, this kind of a nature setting. In early 18th century, the French missionary uh, uh, In Hongxu, he described his experience in Jing De Zhen. Um, the porcelain kiln was distributed in almost everywhere in the city. So during the night, the surrounding mountain, just like a furnace wall, were totally Reflecting the red color of kiln fire uh, all day long, so you can you can imagine, you know, if you go back to the early of 18th century, the whole city just uh, you know occupied many many the the kiln to producing the uh, the the porcelain. So the, through those painting, it's very old painting, to tell the story how porcelain. Uh, you know, the, the making process through, uh, from the, you know, finding the, uh, the porcelain clay to the make a pro, you know, prototype. And then you draw on the prototype, go into the kiln to burn. The, the summer porcelain needed, you know, burning in that all many times, eventually to, to get a refund. Uh, I was, uh, the kiln complex is played a significant role for the, for the, for the city. Uh, the, they, including the, the one brick kiln, uh, and also build a workshop and a housing adjacent. So you can see this is always to like a complex kiln, housing and the workshop together. The whole city also, also generated by the, those kiln complex. If you look at all the, the, the fabric, the, the urban fabric, you can get a sense, oh, you know, all the small, the alley always to approach the Chang River. This is the Chang River. It's a big river. Eventually they connect to the, to the Yangtze River. In order to, you know, they can transport the porcelain product on the, on the river. But big street is going to bring the, the, Along the river, go south north to bring the old business, market, commercial, uh, together. Even today, you, you're going to find a huge amount of the porcelain, the kiln relic in, in the city. This is an imperial kiln. A uh, lot of private small kiln also surrounding with the imperial kiln. This is like Liu Jiayao, Xu Jiayao, and so on. You know, many, many, uh, the, the, the historical kiln located in the center of the city. I was fascinated about, uh, the, 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 this brick kiln. Uh, you know, when I work on the, the, the design, I just walk around. Uh, sometimes you're going to find that the craftsmen are going to rebuild this, uh, the traditional brick cube. Uh, you can, uh, you can look at this is, a, you know, the, the cube so thin and, uh, and very light. They use very minimum material to achieve the maximum volume inside. Uh, the craftsman built this, uh, uh, the cube without scaffolding. Uh, 
this cube is turned to organic shape. But how do they do that? They just use finger to control, more like uh, they cutting the cross section, like a million of the, 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 the section. You can see they use finger to control how they set back offside the brick one layer by the other. And then the, the whole, you know, shell is just, uh, built like the making the porcelain, you know, used by hand. Uh, many, the, the building actually used the recycling brick to build. You know, whole city is not only the, the building. If you look at the, the whole city, like city paving, things, the brick kiln has been demolished every few years, maximum 80 times they can burn. And then they use this recycled brick to build everything. Uh, in Jingdezhen, the, the kiln is, uh, is not only just to produce the porcelain, but also like social place, especially the winter, extremely cold, this, this uh, city, but the summer is kind of hot. Um, uh, like, uh, if you meet very special, uh, the weather very cold, snowing, and the whole school just moved to the, this, uh, adjacent to this cold. The kiln in order to take advantage from the the, the heat. Some students just uh, stolen one the break, like this kind of a break. Uh, the loose on the you know the things they gave the pressure on the on the kiln. They can put it you know place in the school bag like warm the whole day long. In the summer, you know sometimes break. You know the people really like this place. Like all the like people they work on the. The, the, the daily job, they just adjacent to this kiln, especially when the, when this kiln take the break, like winter time, like, a, like a women take a shower, they long hair, they, they can get inside this kiln, uh, to easily to get dry. And also they take advantage to washing the clothes, the clothes easy to dry by the, you know, heat. So everything actually, Jingdezhen is, is everything related to the, the porcelain industry. You know, there's, they, they're all connected by those kind of kiln complex. So they came to the, their urban blood. Everybody know, everybody, you know, to, would like to meet in the, uh, those kind of a place. The museum lo, uh, locate, the site of the museum located in the center of the city. Adjacent to the imperial kiln relic. This is an imperial kiln relic. This is a, the, our museum site. This site used to be occupied by the fire station and a couple of, uh, like five story, like this kind of, uh, typology housing, social housing. Uh, after demolish, this is going to be built. The, the museum specifically going to content the blood porcelain Produced from this imperial kiln during the Ming and the Qing dynasty. That a uh, lot of porcelain is no longer uh, like a whole thing, right? They just like a porcelain piece. But, you know, they excavated from this side. So this is a, the reason we need to build the, this museum. In the beginning, um, you know, I really hard to, to think about, uh, you know, how we can make this museum to, Deeply connect with, with their, uh, like social, you know, life things. They are housing roughly small and, and uh, the small alley, but uh, this cube is giving me a lot of thought. I really hard to get rid of in my mind. Like when I'm walking to meet people, a lot of people talking about the, the cube life. We call it the cube life. Uh, so this is in the, the earlier my sketch, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, to generate, use the prototype of the, the brick cube to generate, uh, uh, my design. This is also the initial sketch, sketch to showing how we, you know, to hiding the most of the volume under, uh, below grade, but, uh, you know, the ground level only the part of the, 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 the music. So this is uh, our, the preliminary conceptual uh, proposal thinks uh, the, the whole museum just use uh, 
multi uh, volume instead of just the big the, the volume of space. So this is our study. We also reference or inspired by the traditional kiln. But you can see this traditional kiln normally is dividing the two level. The the top level is working on the you know they watch the the kiln inside the fire, they gave the wood, you know, control the lower part and they can shape the prototype, the porcelain in, in and out from the, uh, the kiln. So we pretty much to carry out this kind of scale, try to catch up the similar the sense of, you, you know, this uh, pro prototype. Um, the plan of the, the museum layout along the uh, the north south, um, to, you know, to work with the, the, the city grid along the street. The, the facing, uh, with his, uh, uh, for example, if you look at this, uh, the axon, um, the with his entrance, the facing west to embracing the open field, this imperial the relic park. And we are coming visitors from this park and also from this pedestrian. The goal through underneath wandering, uh, the inside is forest under the green canopy and then get on the bridge, flow into the, the lobby and the foyer of the museum. So this is uh, in general, the, the, the sequence, the people, how to, you know, we generate people to gathering in the plaza. Powered by the green canopy, you know, eventually go into the into the museum. Um, the museum comprised more than half dozen the 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 vault based on the the historical typology of the brick cube. Uh, you can you can feel this is a kind of a relax apply into the side to carefully deal with. The existing the relic. So in, in the surrounding, we find out a lot of, uh, the ruin, especially, uh, the challenge for us is after construction star, in, just inside our, you know, the, the site, we find out the Ming dynasty, the ruin. And then the whole project is going to, very difficult, very really hard to let them stop. But we have to really quick to make a change in order to, to, you know, to catch up their speed, the construction speed. So this is a way, you know, we integrate this, uh, uh the ruin, uh, you know, we found up after the, the construction. So this is a like, or finalized the, the conceptual model. This is a like a, Entrance facing west is imperial. Uh, the relic open field is here. Uh, but this star from this, uh, uh, the lobby you're going to traveling around to pass through the ruin or cover exterior space into the interior. It's like loop space is go underneath, eventually go back to the lobby. And this con, this, this two, this two vote is content, like a cafe, the bookstore, design store, and so on. This is a lecture hall. So this is secondary entrance for the temporary exhibition. People can go somewhere here. This is the office entrance. Office entrance here is like loading. We also provide a circular, you know, transportation for the fire, uh, everything. This is our further you know, study how we deal with this, uh, the things we create, a lot of public space on the ground level, uh, also to integrate some uh, ruin inside of our design. Since this is like this covered, like semi outdoor space, provide a lot of, uh, the public, uh, the, the space. This museum is no longer just, uh, you know, black, white, or interior, exterior. They more like sponge to, to on the ground level, the basement level. You have a lot, the blur space to to generate the surrounding. This is a like section. 
this is out torrum. Uh, this is section to show the overall, this is a crossing section. We're cutting through the relic, imperial part, and we'll go through the, the surrounding neighborhood. So you can get sense, actually, the surrounding is not just a historical two-story building. Actually, they mixed many times, like factory, workshop, uh, like modern times, the social housing, and so on. It's very complicated. Uh, the fabric surrounding. Uh, in order to achieve the, um, the intimate scale or to get the similar e experience to compare with uh, the historical queue, we hiding most of the, the program in under the, you know, plan zero, which is B1 level. So you can tell this is a, actually is most of the exhibition space. The, the gallery space, uh, below zero. This is our initial study. The, like what I, you know, the, the mentioned before, the, the one is the cube, the prototype. Last one is the break. Break is more like their memory. The whole city, the Jingdezhen is just use recycling break. Uh, this is our in the beginning. So if you, Look at this plan. So this is like the people getting the, we call this is like a, the foyer or reception. Definitely is also the exhibition. Things so the person is roughly small. And this is a lecture hall we created. We have a separate, the, the entrance also connect to this lobby. This is a design store, bookstore. This is like a cafe or, you know, semi outdoor space. The people going to walk, walk through here, you can see the double level atrium and also looking down to the, the sunken courtyard. This is, a, you're going to see the semi the covered, the space. This is a actually outdoor space. And then to integrate with this, uh, the, the ruin, uh, we also have small amphitheater. People continue to, to walk through exterior, interior, and you know, the, the go up and down. Eventually, you meet some more gent subtle stairs go down to the B1 level. So this is a, like a permanent collection, and uh, this is a, like a, you know, like lecture hall also connect from the, the B1 level, like a coding check everything uh, somewhere here. This is a most of the office part. And this is a temporary, I mentioned we have the temporary exhibition to bring people, you know, through this stair to go along like linear corridor to, you know, also they can be part of the permanent exhibition as well. So this is when you walk in, uh, you can, you can find the, you know, like a atrium, you also can go beyond. This is kind of a typical uh, experience. This is like, uh, you can see the, the two level. And then between the two vault, like the things we have made in the like arch structure, in between we hiding most of the like circulation stair just in between this. If you go beyond, it's a lecture hall. Uh, when you continue to walk through, you're going to walk, you know, through this glass, the, the wall, you're going to get into the, like, uh, covered, the semi outdoor space to definitely here also showing some uh, exhibition stuff, uh, to, to, you know, you can walking down to the, you know, mid level to, to experience this, this relic we found. You also can looking down the, the courtyard. This is like an amphitheater to showing more social gathering place. So this is a, one of the course space. And then you also, if you, you know, from this way, you know, you can see this is an arch. The, the, the somehow was covered, especially for the summer. Uh, you can protect from the rain, sun. Also, this is like a internal to make, a, you know, beautiful, the comfort place, like people to gather in. And then you can, See through, you know, go all the way beyond to see the 
the, the urban surrounding housing and so on. So this kind of a, the, the variation uh, to brought very rich experience. So each the art is going to be changed. This is a, definitely in the beginning we are we are facing the extremely challenge challenge things you know like like more than half dozen this art each, each the vote is is have difference in lens in curvature the curvature and everything is different that's going to brought the the the, the topic how you know how we are going to develop our the idea to to realize to build so this is like what I mentioned this is like a concrete the, the stair to brought people to go down. So this is in between to you know to walk. The material is we I try to to you know to bring the, the very simple straightforward material. That that in the break is is their kind of a the character whole city and the concrete and the wood. So the three material pretty much dominate everything. So if you go if you go, you know, right side you're going to experience like this is like tea, the place, coffee shop, this is like bookstore. If you're standing here you can see through the you know beyond, for example. When you get this like covered space, you know this uh, this horizontal cut going tent uh, tempt people to sit down to look and focus on the horizon of the of the imperial the the relic side you, you can you can look through the similar experience we create when you go to the you know the auditorium you're going to pass the one covered vault and and the same you know you can see the surrounding like uh, their historical side the pavilion and such. And then you can go into the lecture hall. This lecture hall is uh, uh, the similar, uh, is definitely smaller than, you know, this dimension is, is maximum or dimension is only eight meters wide. So, but they take care, uh, they carry out, you know, like one purely, you know, arch structure. Uh, even the skylight, we also reference their porcelain or their cube. You can see the cube. They also have a lot of observation hole and also they can, you know, to uh, go through a lot of wood inside. This is a one of the, uh, the sunken plaza, which is to can bring the people to experience, give the light, the natural light for the basement, for the but a lot of workshops surrounding, you know, like fixed room, like exhibition room. And also the people, uh, things I really, you know, enjoying the, the experience, like what I mentioned before, I really want to catch up the experience among in the cube, the person and the human being, since this is their kind of a past experience. So in terms of scale. So if you, Walk through the whole museum. You not just you know feel okay the museum and the exterior. Basically, you you always to go up and down in the middle level, down level, upper level, the the exterior, interior, or semi exterior. The whole experience more like a Chinese um, architecture. Always try to present to like people to enjoy to wandering through to you know if you think about the chinese the most of the chinese architecture you know they build a lot of the the space without pacific program or functionality they build a lot of corridor courtyard pavilion the roof have huge overhand protect you know from the sun or wind so most of the experience they create just like people to to walk through to enjoy. So like uh, you know, like uh, Chinese always talking about um, the wander through to enjoy the space to you know like uh, concentrate, like hiding and rest, cultivate uh, the the whole museum. Uh, for this museum, we just want to somehow to to rediscover the the 
the, those kind of experience in terms of the contemporary way. This section, you can, you can see, basically people, you can go almost anywhere. So this is a, what we propose. In the beginning, this is a kind of a very close. So this is a, from the view from the, the, the imperial, the, the relic part. So this is a, what we imagine. Actually, this is a construction. We have similar, uh, kind of a, the, the gender, you know, you know, through the whole design process, we, we spend a lot of time to work on the study model instead of uh, just a computer. And, uh, we, you know, everything is, is kind of a dynamic. I always back and, uh, back, you know, back and forth from my studio to the job side. I think so everything is so dynamic, like dynamic system. You always need to change your design things. So you always to meet the challenge. Because, you know, a lot of things is really, um, you know, beyond your, uh, expertise, uh, expectation. Like this is, uh, you know, after construction, uh, we find out uh, some, uh, the ruin and then, you know, it's, a, it's a so difficult for this project. You can see this is like really vertical, you know, contending wall to make uh, this project even more complicated. Uh, the structure, so this is the basement. We develop some, uh, you know, answer the question uh, I mentioned before. Things. This is each the 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 cube structure actually they have very unique dimension. The curvature. You know, all the dimensions are different. How do you? How do we can use a very simple the construction way? Uh, we work with a manufacturer contractor to develop some interesting. I call the uh, the robot, uh, you know, the, the scaffolding system, which is, this is, this is like we have the track and underneath, uh, we can use kind of a very thin soft wood form, uh, use, uh, you know, many leg, legs to, to, you know, to support in order to, we can, to form the, the, you know, the, the one dimension when you, when they move to another part, they're going to change the dimension. So just one system actually we build all this kind of almost like 10 different dimension, the wall. The structure is like a, like a vault structure, like a sandwich. Two layer, the mastery break in between is concrete. We use uh, wood, um, we use, use, uh, this is scaffolding to use uh, the wood became to form, and then we start to apply for the first layer of the break, and then we pour the concrete, and then the final layer is is the break layer again. So like a three layer, um, but uh, ideally, you know, things in the beginning I try to use pure, like a, you know, everything is a, is the like a uh, the break. But uh, eventually we, we never realize. But especially when the, the two votes meet together, we have another small arch to connect. It's extremely difficult. We have to use, you know, some part use curtain wall instead of, uh, you know, mansory break the, the way. So this is like construction. This is like local. When, if you just like maybe just 10 meter away, you saw a lot of neighborhood like this. They use a lot recycled brick. Look at this brick. Somehow was glazed because this brick used to be the, the, the porcelain cube. They, they demolish and then they build housing. Uh, they create kind of a very interesting when people saw this kind, uh, glaze the brick, they're going to be attached. They're going to raising the question. They're going to, you know, to evoke the, the memory or imagination, you know, how this break, where it's come from, how old this break, to create a lot of question or, you know, new answer. This is a, uh, we brought a lot of recycle, uh, those break and mix with the new break. Even for the new break, we also, we also to use uh, their material. And not only local, 
the soil or clay, but also it mix with their uh, things of the, the yin jing de zhen, they, they, they call the porcelain case. When they burning the, the porcelain, they have the, like, like pottery case. This case we're going to making the more like clay, and then you can see this uh, new brick also a lot of material actually recycle from the, their industry. So the, in the beginning, the, you, you know, we think about how we can mix those break in, you know, with the new break. Uh, we not try to, you know, compost any pattern, but basically just by chance. So we just gave the, 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 the people, you know, worker maybe just like, a, for example, like a 20% of the break, they, they automatically to mix by themselves. So this is their or the, the first stage when I saw this very rich of the the texture of the the brick wall. You feel so moved. Things you really want to touch. You really want to discover the you know the the, the story behind this uh, this wall. And then this this wall became to this so life. You feel the interesting way. They they, they always. Change in terms of the you know like this pattern. Sometimes they make a mistake. Uh, they use more the new break, or they <clears throat> they use a more old break. You never can control during the construction, so that them to do it. So this is more like final uh, or the the detail of the the, the surface of the uh, the exterior the break wall. So this is the, like uh, last summer. Uh, this is the, I talk I talk from the July. Basically, we finish uh, most of the structure, and uh, and then we continue to work on the the auditorium the interior. A lot of interior is getting uh, the close. So this they use for the you know low tech is never happy. You know just the word. The, like for the concrete, Act, actually in the beginning the concrete is so beautiful. Things that they they have so many, like we call the uh, the texture here, but it's not perfect. But uh, but uh, you know the contractor they try to you know refine. They cover the all the the, the things on this uh, the beautiful concrete. So this is the interior. You can see you feel the the tension. This lecture hall uh, is is kind of a, a very intense. The concrete is rough. The, the seating, all the basement seating is concrete. Very minimum material approach. So this is like a lot of concrete wall, the concrete seating, the brick wall, and the wood. So this is the one uh, I mentioned the. The, the, uh, the ruin we found, and we make a huge effort to, you know, to make this happen because this, uh, you know, underneath the earth's water is so shallow, you know, when they only dig like two meters, they, you know, all the water is come, you know, come in. We have to find some way to, to, to spend a lot of energy. So you can feel this whole building is start to, to show up this concrete ceiling, this, this kind of a, a sunken plaza again, you know, the, the, the quickly move forward. So this is pretty much, uh, work on this part. This is maybe last October, I told. Yeah. This is uh, in, in between. So this is the, the one, the, the scenario. So you always to, to, to experience uh, the, the one vote to another, you can feel that they're always changed in terms of the size, in terms of the dimension. This is a, like our construction, uh, yeah, it's ongoing. Not a concrete detail. So the reason uh, we use the vertical the break instead of horizontal 
uh, things we inspired by local people, like what I, you know, just uh, uh, if you s- we saw that video, right? Video, right? They used the very thin side, more like cutting the cross section, and then you can easily to form this organic, or just one layer, layer. They, they pretty much can make this uh, curving cover trace very smoothly. Uh, you, if we go to the horizontal, probably we won't happen. You know, never you can realize this kind of uh, uh, curvature, yeah, concrete. Not a mistake. Definitely, mistake is more dynamic way to to make your design maybe even uh, uh, interesting. So this is our you know the final detail for the for the art. The, this is like one atrium, uh, the one the exhibition uh, space. You go beyond to another one. So it's very typical between two two volts. We have a kind of you know light. This is cutting through in order to show clear to show the you know the one volt to another. You see, this is all the brake work. Reflecting water. This is a the you you start feel the you know the, the interesting background is a, is high rise not high rise it's middle rise housing. So once again, they move forward. They start to you know we start to finish the uh, transparency um, the handrail. So this is a relic. Mentioned before, but we still work on the landscape part, you know, part the beyond. Uh, make a comparison. This is background. I think so this surrounding the fabric is is so rich, like this kind of housing. In the beginning, the the city planned to after build this new museum, they try to totally demolish things. So they kind of proud this museum, you know, a lot of visitors right now to visiting and they, they kind of proud this design, but they feel this is too bad. They want to demolish, you know, this kind of erase the, uh, the, the, the existing condition. But I strongly to insist to, to nothing change, just to keep whatever, uh, Whatever we have. So if you make, actually, we, when we work on some detail, this is like a wood frame to also we draw some inspiration with this background, the extension. So this concrete is there. So this is what we need to rework on. This is temporary, just a thing, a big official, like a member street in China official, they visit this side, they, they quickly to base on our the construction document, they, they, they make very rough handrail, but this, but this is not what we want. Yeah, they're going to break it down again. So this is just for the one hour, two hour visit. So this is like, you know, always the case, especially this museum have a lot of event, even they still under construction, the, the, like a ministry of uh, housing, the, the minister of the, uh, the, the construction, they, they hold many event and the meeting, you know, like learn from the, for example, they, they always interrupt. The city want to make good performance. They, they rush out. They just work quick to build. And then I feel so disappointed and okay, no problem. We are going to rebuild. Again, so this kind of uh, is one really unhealth the, the, the working process, but uh, almost every time, as, as long as you was in the, the job side, you always, many things you, you know, facing to you, you feel so nervous and uh, really hard to, to understand sometimes. So this is also like this, uh, we not work, we not finish our courtyard. They cover the green grass. They, they're going to take away to based on our design. They're going to do the, this landscape. Yeah. The few photo just I took, uh, just, uh, in last week, you know, where I was, the, the job site. The Jingdezhen is, is, uh, the climate is so 
challenge and very cold in winter, hot summer. So people, you know, how you can create your the the design can be reflecting their climate. So we use very thin, you know, actually thicker wall in order to have a good, you know, the the insulation uh, idea. But at the same moment, we create a lot of open tunnel and the wind tunnel. So whenever in the summer, whenever I was in the job site, I always sit, you know, one of the open vault. They can you can feel the, the climate change, the, the the wind. So this is a lot of detail. You can see this when you're walking down the stairs, you you're going to see a lot of kind of a texture or very rich break. Going to bring a lot of the the interesting thought and the question. This is a very cool. This is yeah. Last time I last week I took you know, pretty much the work on the, this uh, landscape. We have a uh, you know work on the lighting. Uh, this is uh, like what I the mentioned before, right? You know when you. This is like a tea place. We call it coffee place. Uh, when you're walking, the, this horizontal card going to uh, attempt the people to sit down to look hori the horizon of this uh, valley. So this is a you know it's we we work on the some lighting work. So this is from the imperial park. We start to work on some paving. Landscape, so you can see this is like an event, right? They're going to have big meeting, official meeting going to take place soon. So you can see they clear up the the the, the floor and so on. So this is all. Water. This is a kind of a, during the night time. It's from the. Imperial period. So in general, uh, if I'm, you know, this project is kind of a challenge, and uh, uh, be honest, that this is a kind of ambition the project. I always work in, on the side, it's so you know, the, use the dy dynamic way instead of uh, okay, you just finish your 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 drawing and then let them to do it. So a lot of changing, a lot of. Okay, Occasional, you know, changing, you know, mistake. For example, uh, you know, the contractor, they even make huge mistake, uh, when they, I don't know which one. Oh, for example, like this, we have like, a, like big column, right? They, uh, the, we have, you know, one is temporary. When you're making this structure, the temporary support, but they cutting the wrong one. Like, <laughs> like, you know, that's totally. You know, unbelievable, you know, but, but I feel maybe better, you know, maybe I, I started to care, you know, use the model to, to study the, the proportion, but when I saw this, oh, oh my God, but maybe, so this, uh, you have to accept, you cannot cut, <laughs> but you cannot cut, right? You cannot cut going to falling apart. So this is the, 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 the overall, you know, e experience. Uh, you have to win through. Whenever you practice in China, you have to, you know, first thing you have to make some, uh, a judgment to make uh, some uh, envision about a possibility, you know, how, how much chance you can realize this, this project. First thing. Secondly, how this client is, you know, to really want to carry out, uh, you know, your design. And the similar time, and uh, right now it's under construct construction another project also won by government it is uh, in Anhui. it's totally different the, the scenario you know this client is so support for example even they make mistake they want to redo it you know sometimes but for the another project if i said okay you're wrong they must be kept. If I said this is right, they're going to change. You know, totally upset. You, you, when you work, when, whenever you, you visit the site, you feel so disappointed. It's not, uh, they make some, uh, things wrong, actually, their attitude. 
they not really work with architects. So this is one of the the big challenge for the for the Chinese architecture. Uh, in gen, uh, if I'm summarize the you, you know the so overall designs really want to rediscover some uh, the root uh use were contemporary thought to interpret into the you know contemporary design so this probably is end of my talk tonight thank you Thank you. Um, I'm very curious. <clears throat> the apartment complexes in the background, you felt that they added to the museum or I mean, you, you wanted them not to be demolished. Is that correct? Yeah, I want to keep the whatever they, you have to keep the true, you, you know, whatever they. So, they so you felt it added to the experience of whoever's yes. going to. Yes. This is a part of the experience. So if you look, Walk through this building, you, you know, like this, uh, this end of uh, this arch, more like capture, capture up the surrounding, you know, all the housing. This is like social housing. This housing probably built later, uh, early of, uh, you know, uh, maybe 2010 or some, something like that. So many factory, you can see the chin, right? The, the, the old factory maybe built 50. So surrounding you have so much rich, the involvement. I feel this is, it, it, it is, it's much, much important. <laughs> much. So I have a question is when you work with a project like this, do you, how do you estimate the cost and get approval the, through the government process? What is the process you have to go through to design, you know, to scope your project so that you know how much budget to work with? Yeah. How does, how do you go about doing that? Uh, in the beginning, for example, it, you know, every project is, especially for, you know, Mumbai government, they have certain budget. Mm -hmm. For example, they're going to tell you how much we're going, the construction cost. Mm -hmm. So when you work on that, you have to really be careful to somehow to to reach their point. Maybe less or, but most of the time you're going to be probably increased a little bit, but they give you a certain percentage in the beginning. Mm -hmm. So when we work on a conceptual, once, you know, we come out to like a preliminary design and we have to, you know, invite some expert to give you, you know, for example, the price, you know, cost, etc. And then during the design, you always change, especially in the DD level. It's most mm -hmm. important. It, they're going to get in very clear about uh, this construction cost. This is uh, obviously is very clear. They fix. They cannot over the budget. So when you find that the uh, archaeological area. You change your design. design. So how do you budget that? How do you go about changing? I have to pay for it by myself. <laughs> 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 or you <laughs> won't change. It. Yes. Uh, this is a, you know they never pay you. <laughs> wow. Things uh, if you want to make better, that's your job. So in the beginning, government tried to get rid of. It. They 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 try to. They said okay, this is not. Uh, and Euro in Jingdezhen. As long as you make breaking the ground, you must be from the Ming Dynasty. And then they said, okay, this is not very special. You make a decision, want to keep, change your design, but the schedule never postponed. You have to make sure you can catch up. And then, you know, for example, a lot of project I have to invest. I have a, like I mentioned, unfortunately, I just mentioned that bad client. Mm -hmm. And actually this design, I totally redesigned things. Uh, you know, the, the, the first official invited me. And then we finished the design. And then this official stepping down. The new leadership, they don't like this design. But they never say no. They just uh, make you feel... Oh, probably we have to think about it. I realized, okay, this is probably the people change. I have to change the design. 
And then I totally changed his design. Everything have to pay for ourselves. Or you can quit, for example. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Um, Zhu, thank you so much for an amazing, uh, fantastic uh, presentation on an amazing project. I, halfway through the lecture, I was trying to remember, it, in, how long have you worked on the project? Uh, we, I was invited by the early spring of 2016. I, I still remember, I, 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 during that time, I taught one studio in Columbia. Yeah. And uh, this official just came to my office three times. They just keep their things that they overturned. They turned down three times, you know, before they design. They, they feel uncomfortable, thinks this project is so important. They call the number one, oh. the project in Jiangxi province, the party secretary of Jiangxi province, right. they in charge of it. So. And what comes across is is how deliberate the work on site has been. I mean, how how much has been a. In fact, there's a kind of improvisational side to the project that comes across once you get on site and encounter it. And I'm curious if there was a stage as design ideas were coming together that was equally kind of open ended. Once initial decisions are made, that, that you allowed for a kind of fluidity in the design leading up to the site work. And, and if that. And maybe. I guess the question would be have. Has the studio gotten something out of what seems in the context of China, where things are done very quickly, yeah. and usually much, much bigger than this, whether there's been something learned through the experience of a very deliberate kind of unfolding of a project <coughs> that's maybe feeding back now into your own work and the thinking within the studio. I, yeah. I, I was realizing that I, it, it's such a rare form to see a lecture on a single building. <laughs> yeah. And the last one I can come up with, kind of ironically, would be OMA's lecture on CCTV, which was done at about half the time it's taken you to do this museum, okay. uh, you know, for vastly bigger kind of structure. And I think okay. one of the things the project seems to suggest is that the work in China has also entered a phase in which time is operating in a different way also, and projects are being allowed to be explored and worked on in a different form. Your experience, it seems, would be a very interesting one to comment on in terms of that learning. Yes, uh, I think I do have some advantage since uh, probably I mentioned, you know, like party secretary of the Jing Dezhen, they in my office three times. They really showed, uh, you know, uh, Definitely going to pay me very good. <laughs> That's for sure, right? And the first thing, but uh, I realize they have ambition. They really respect you. Things they make big research. They already turned down three times. They cannot, the, the new leadership, they cannot, you know, following down again. So they really care for it. It take many, uh, like a uh, half years to make research. So they have a, uh, the ambition want to make this good. Definitely they want to really quit. Uh, I have a kind of a provision about a challenge about this design. So I ask, okay, you need to pay for my travel. Uh, doesn't matter how many times my staff travel, housing, everything. And, uh, but, uh, the design fee is okay. I don't like, you know, I don't, you know, expect I make money, but it's not as they cover. So I have a minimum one staff every, you know, every day stay in the job site. You know, for the special moment, we have three people on the job site, or we really hard to, to, to doing the dynamic, the design ways. I also, you know, I, this project is breaking my record. The, the party secretary, the leadership, they want to make a, the show in this museum, they also want to, sh okay, pay, can you collect all your boarding pass on the wall <laughs> to indicate how many times you're going. Yeah. So we still lost a lot of money, but uh, this, the garment is so great. The, 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 the new leadership is, I never met people. Before it's really great people. <coughs> they use a separate contract to make up, make up, you know. But they cannot use one contract, so they showed really good. Definitely got a really good return. They promote 
a lot by the central government. Yeah. Uh, yeah congratulations on the project. It's uh, super amazing. Hi. <laughs> Good to see you. Um, no, it's, it's true. I think, you know, this is the first time I'm seeing a project where the CA is as important as the SD. It almost you have to design um, room for, for the CA to accommodate uh, for, for this process. And it's interesting that a lot of the conversations after the lecture has been about authority and government. Uh, and I've been super curious as to, you know, it's, it's been a few years since uh, Chairman Xi has mentioned that, you know, no more weird architecture. And I'm no more, weird. no more weird architecture, implying that there is a normal architecture. And I think, you know, in your lecture, you're talking a lot about the, let's say, the source of, ins source of inspiration that comes from local traditions and vernacular language and so forth. But we can't exactly say this is normal, no? Like, I think, and I'm, I'm super curious as to how also Chinese... It's hard to see where, right? Yeah. <laughs> you need to... I'm, I'm super uh, curious as to here. how contemporary Chinese architects are negotiating with the status of normalcy, uh, where, where whether or not there are uh, actual boundaries beyond which uh, something is considered weird. Oh, what, what's your question? Sorry, <laughs> uh, you mean, you mean? Sorry, I, I just uh, maybe you you just use uh, one sentence to to summarize your question. Sorry, um, I lost my mind. Sure, no problem. Yeah. Uh, is there a line beyond which something is considered weird? Oh, okay. Uh, I definitely, you know, I have uh, my own judgment, but uh, for the government. I really don't know how they to judge, <laughs> you know, you know. But but one thing is clearly, you know, government encourage you to build something specifically to fit the culture, for the for example, like local, for example, yeah. Sure. Thank please. you so much for this lecture. I, I this I, I just find this work to be brilliant. Um, uh, but my question is actually perhaps very similar to Jimenez, except for minus the government. How do you know with this vault, and it's a formal question, so with these vaults, you do things to defamiliarize them. They're deeply, deeply familiar, as, as you explained in several ways. They're culturally deeply familiar forms. And... You present them as such, but then there are the many, many moments where they're defamiliarized formally by you cutting through them, exposing their sections in ways that perhaps uh, we haven't seen before. And so I guess the way my question would relate to Jimenez, it's to do with the weird, never mind the government, in your studio, how do you know when you've gone too far? Well, I don't think you ever did. I think th I... As I say, I, I find this formally fantastic, but but you know there would have been other formal maneuvers that you could have used that would defamiliarize the vault even further. For example, in one of your study models, it was cut at a, a kind of ang in a kind of angular way through the vault, the long way. Yeah. That kind of move doesn't show up in in this work. I'm just wondering in your studio. How do you know with this particular form when you've done enough, when it, that's enough, you shouldn't defamiliarize any further? Yeah, I never care about, uh, like where, you know, what kind of, a, you know, the building is where or not. I, I doesn't care the, the comment from any, you know, any side. But I strongly, you know, I have my, my, my judgment. I have my goal. I, I really want to make a, you know, the architecture is more innovate, create a new experience. I think this is the most important thing. But this experience have a certain root in order to dialogue with the people. Things, a lot of building we create kind of, uh, you know, beyond the people's and the, you know, understanding. For example, um, you know, whenever you create something, Beyond the experience, beyond the, you know, for ex uh, I, I, how do I see? For example, if, um, if you are, for example, we spoke, you know, different language, for example, I, we, I really hard to communicate with you. 
this is one thing. In other way, if you are me, we two same. We don't need to communicate. I think that things is 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 new experience with root can be perfect perfectly to brought some attention to bring people to engage, so people can communicate with your your design. But at the same moment, actually, this is totally new new experience. So I want to really deep to you know to to one way to 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 connect with the root. But this root is not super, not just super, you know, like a a super. I forgot, you know, like a very specific. For example, we transform the certain form or traditional architecture form or or construction technique. Actually, not. I really want to the experience. The experience can be match. Can be you know the root talking about more climate、uh, experience rather than yeah. So this is the reason I feel you know I always use、uh, some example. For example, the good architecture always to welcome people to engage, to let people to move. For example, like when right? How when how how. How the when is happen, things you have the you know different pressure, uh the the building same thing you you know not only the program even the spatially the material or experience as long as they based on the the one system but they different people start to understand they how to flow to inside I think this is more represent my understanding about Chinese the. The architecture things they always emphasize the the enjoyable wandering to create a kind of a mystery and、uh, unclear the moment like courtyard. You really hard this courtyard is useless place. Actually, it's maybe sometimes center, right? Like housing center. So you know, for the Chinese culture, for their architecture, they never built very specifically. This is a bedroom. This is a living room. This is kitchen. Actually, they, you know, blur together. Sometimes, this courtyard be became to the living room. Yeah. Thank you, Professor Chu. Um, I'm. Just asking you a super simple question: What's your take on the waterproof of your project? Water, like oh, okay. Looking at the stain yeah, and yeah. everything, yeah. what's your take on it? Like, uh, like what I mentioned, right? We the the structure have a the three layer like sandwich. You know, when we after we pour the concrete, things that we have the first layer break, and then we. You know, concrete, and then we start to doing the insulation, on,、um, you know, on、um, right above the concrete layer, and then we making the break on the top. So this is what what we do. That's your question, right? You talking about the structure or talking? I'm talking about actually the aesthetic. Oh, water. Like like what after rain?、Uh, oh, you. Uh, okay, yeah. So I I I understood what 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 you mean. Um, yeah. I I think you know, for example, probably you saw some uh, some uh, the photo I took, right? Some like、uh, water, you know, falling down. You know, a lot of architects really carefully to try to avoid that kind of、uh, scenario. Um.、Uh, But、uh, I like to actually. I try, you know, not the building is like concrete roof,、um, no overhand, for example. You know, I I still feel sometimes when I saw the break have the water here, I'm not feel this is a bad. I feel they start to absorb water, but、uh, some sensitive area like people's entrance, we have some canopy. Or we have some、uh, small metal, horizontal metal sheet to to protect. But most of them just let them to do it. 
I feel the more interesting, more rich. You you find out the summer in the summer the summer break turn to green. Uh, the winter they disappear. Once they have sunshine, they're totally clean. The like winter they have raining recently. They have raining a lot every day, like whole months. And then the 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 break start to show in summer. You know something, but but to be honest, I mean, I never care about this. I feel this is not bad. This is kind of. Okay, thank you.